What do we got? More whiskey. Ooh, we like more whiskey. More whiskey. Yes, we do. This is round two oh, of our Bimber Distillery tasting. And we like round one. Uh, round one was delicious. Was nice. And like I said at the end of round one, it's going to get better. So this is the Bimber, their small batch whiskey aged in an ex vino de naranja cast. Naranja. So it's an orange wine cast? Something Is like that, that something? Uh, this is the second release for the Bimber Club. It's a club exclusive. It was bottled at cask strength. In November of 2021, cast strength is 50.2 percent. Only 2,100 bottles. The, the distillery's in London, right? So it's in London. Uh, two Polish individuals opened the distillery. Had some experience from uh, one of the grandfathers who yeah. used to be a spirits guy. They put together a distillery in 2015. Laid down their first cast in 16, and actually put their stuff product out in 19. Hmm. So the first thing they put out was a three-year-old. This is from 2021. Okay. Cool. cool. Sir, cheers. What did you say it was? How much was the game, baby? 50.2? Mm. This one, this one, everyone. It got everybody talking. It got everybody talking. It's got that orangey smell, you know? I expected like, it to be a little more orange. It's like a marmalade a little, sandwich. Yeah, expect, well, it's a whiskey. I expected it to it's be... It's not an uh, orange liqueur. To be like orange slices. Mm. Instead, it's a little more subtle, like you said, yeah. Paddington. Uh -huh. A little marmalade. Who doesn't like a little marmalade? It's got like a light citrusy nose to it, but then it's got that little bit of alcohol, so I, I suspect it's going to be a little hot. And decidedly different from the ex bourbon cask. Yes. I'm going. That was all vanillas. Mm -hmm. This is all citrus. Baked fruit. Ooh. That's got some heat. But it's got a really nice mouthfeel, too. Yeah, that's nice. It's got like a velvety, lightly oily and texture. A little more lingering finish, mm. with the finish a little stronger, where the, the heat kind of stays in your mouth, mm -hmm. where um, it doesn't dissipate. Nice flavor, nice sipper. Boy, that's good. From what I remember this one, you got to kind of go back for a little more. Mm -hmm. So just kind of chit chat a little bit, talk, you know, and just kind of... Now see, the problem is though today, I had pizza. Yeah. I think I burned them with my mouth. Oh. So I got a little bit of a little sensitivity up there. So it's a little especially hot today. I'm usually okay with the gas crank. Today it, hurt. today it burns a little bit. A little oh. extra tingle. Boo hoo. My tongue's fine, but the roof of my mouth. A little bit of. Well, that's nice. Mm. That's a nice whiskey. Mm. So for six year old company, they, um, they seem to know what they're doing. Yeah, and, and the folks that were on the Zoom call with Raj, they, a couple guys were very into Bimber. I think yeah. they were, they might have been, they might have been in England, I'm not sure. But they were very into Bimber, and they had like they were collecting. Yeah, certainly members of the club, I suppose. Yeah, and they they really really liked their stuff. And I looked at their site for forty dollars. You can or forty pounds. You can join yeah. their club, mm -hmm. and it gives you kind of a first crack at their exclusives and some okay. kind of stuff they do. But this is very subtle. It's very very subtle. But you get that nice little citrusy note on the back. You know, and that's really good. Mm. Very very nice. All good. That's good. I'm going a little higher, maybe. Is yeah, it? I'd say that's probably like an 87, 88 for me. Mm, this might be like an 89. A, that's, a solid, that's a solid B plus for me. 89, 90. This would probably actually, it might make a nice cocktail. Mm. You know, this might actually make yeah, a nice so. cocktail. Something yeah. gentle, though. Like, I wouldn't like overpower it with like a vermouth or anything like that. Maybe like a nice light citrusy cocktail. Something you'd use an orange liqueur for? Yeah, you wouldn't maybe. bother with? Maybe. Since it was in there? Or yeah. only use a little orange liqueur? Yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, what's the Campari? Only use a little Campari? I wouldn't go that route. No. I think I would, or maybe just go simple, just go like a nice eyeball. Yeah. You know, just to keep it, so you don't want to lose it. You don't want to lose what's going on in here, you know? You don't want it to like fade away and just disappear. You want it to come out. That's nice. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's really nice. Delish. Delish. So, again, cheers to you. Cheers to Glass Revolution Imports. And cheers to Bimber Distillery. Delicious stuff. Delicious. Cheers.